gonna be like really hard, like, like really hard. Are new here I am Kendra Y Hill creative director and stylist at the modern disciple my channel is all about giving you fashion tips so that you can look your best and new and aspiring stylists can come here and get information on how to get this coin okay so on today's video we are jumping right back into actually the middle of the nobody left behind series if you have not been watching for the last couple of weeks I have been going over what to wear for your body type. It's a vlog that I actually did like a year ago and then I decided to make it a video kind of situation, a little series, because this is the question I get asked the most, how to dress best for your body type. So before I get all the way into it, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that bell, all those good things so that you can stay tuned to everything that I have coming for you. Today we are tackling the rectangle. And this is why this is going to be a hard video for me. You guys, I am a rectangle. You know, it took me a long time to understand and realize that I was a rectangle. Not really, I was a kid, okay? I was a child, you know, I spoke as a child, I thought as a child, when I became an adult, I took the child to stand behind me. No, when I was a kid, um, I used to get made fun of by adults, like that I was a cylinder, I was just straight up and down, I was just whatever. And I thought that like growing into my body was gonna change that because I knew like I'd be curvy and I am curvy. My curves are just straight up and down. Don't know what to tell you. I have a, um, bust i have hips and booty but i also got waist okay i am like this now you may not believe me because i do a lot to create the illusion of like hourglass curves but the fact of the matter is that i too am a rectangle so i just wanted to put this in here this was recorded like uh, a month and a half maybe two months ago mind your business um but anyway your girl is not a rectangle anymore i am now an hourglass i have an 11 inch difference between my bust and my waist and a 15 inch difference between my waist and my hips i've been putting in work okay thanks management bye yay yay how do you know you are a rectangle you know you are a rectangle because your bust, your waist, and your hips are uh, pretty much all the same size, and your hips are narrow. I do have hips, but again, they're the same as my waist and the same as my bust. I am straight up and down. Not anymore, sis. Yes! So if this is you, the big don't you're not supposed to is you're not supposed to wear like overly dramatic things. <laughs> Drama is my life. So I don't care about that rule. But again, wear whatever you want for your body. Like, are there things that are best for your body type? Absolutely. But wear what you want. Do what you want. I do what I want. I run LA. 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 Do what you want, okay? Do whatever it is that you want. Things that are going to look amazing on you are long jackets, like dust your coats and things like that. It's going to give you that appearance of looking super lean. If you put ruffles up top or ruffles in the bottom, you're going to create some visual interest. You can get away with wearing a friggin' peplum. Everyone wants to wear peplums, but everybody's not peplum bodied, okay? Everybody ain't able. Everybody ain't able, okay? It's for the few of us who are able to do it. So listen, play with colors, ruffles, details, layers are great for people who are rectangle shaped. It adds some visual interest and dimension. 
rouging, you know, like when it zhuzh, 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 zhuzh up your body, it zhuzh, 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 when it zhuzh up your body, that looks amazing too, because it also creates the illusion of curves, and you can get away with wearing color, bright colors. Again, add visual interest to your look. Some of the pieces that are gonna be perfect for you, V-necks, deep scoop necks, peplum tops, wrap tops, when it comes to dresses, you can wear fit and flare dresses. Maxi dresses look amazing on people who are rectangle shaped because a maxi dress is just like, there it is. Don't belt the dress too, hold on. Create that illusion of a waist, hello. Hello. Hi. Empire dresses, peplum dresses again, when it comes to bottoms, a pencil skirt that is high waist is fantastic for you. An A-line skirt is amazing. A full-on maxi skirt is amazing. Um, you can also wear skinny cut pants or boot cut pants. Um, you kind of have versatility and options because your body doesn't have all this other stuff going on. You're able to really just do something that's going to help to build and create. Again, it's like I've said it a hundred times in this video, but it's the truth. It's visual interest for your body. So that's all for rectangle shapes. You can go to moderndisciplestyle.com and download the free infographics that you can have on your phone, that you can take with you shopping, that will show you exactly what to wear, what not to wear, all of those good things, okay? Again, if you haven't liked or subscribed, what are you waiting for, huh? Go ahead and get in here. I'm going to continue this series. You don't know what I'm gonna do next. You never know what I'm gonna do next. So stay tuned. You can follow me on social media, on Instagram at I am Kendra Y Hill. That's on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on all of the things. All of them. That's where I am. I am Kendra Y Hill. You can find me there. And until next time, thank you guys. Bye. Is <laughs>